It is kind of wild to say this again, but Google's new Gemini 3.0 model checkpoints are absolutely insane. For those who do not know, we have been covering the pre-testing phase of the Gemini 3.0 checkpoints, a new state-of-the-art model that's reportedly shaping up to be the best AI model ever released. We've made multiple videos showcasing its incredible output quality. But the fact that Gemini is already testing even more advanced versions of this model this week is mind-blowing because these new checkpoints completely top the demos we had showcased earlier. It's rumored to be truly state-of-the-art, and many are already calling it the best AI model ever released based off the performance across nearly every benchmark test. On the ARC AGI2 leaderboard, it actually lists the new Gemini 3.0 thinking model right at the top, scoring an impressive result that surpasses every other model out there. Now, it seems that there are two new model checkpoints currently being AB tested, but in total, there are reportedly 13 variants in rotation. The first is the ECPT checkpoint, which appears to represent the new Gemini 3.0 Pro model. And the second is the K0T, which seems to align more with the Flash variant. None of these checkpoints are fully stable yet. They're all variations of the broader Gemini 3.0 family. But what's absolutely wild is that even these test builds are already producing outputs that are rivaling or even surpassing most production ready models today. I'll be 100% honest, I definitely got the release date wrong for October 9th. You stupid. But it looks like we're getting closer and closer as these new checkpoints start to wrap up. Plus, there are new leaks hinting at an October 22nd release date coming from Capybara, a new tool that is used internally at Google. It apparently mentions a big announcement that aligns perfectly with Gemini 3.0's launch. So if this leak is true, it looks like October is still very much in the books. But man, these new checkpoints are truly insane. The developer who showcased the A-B testing method actually reached back out to me to showcase a couple of new demos, and it's genuinely remarkable. Also, huge shout out to him for letting me in on these new leaks and demos and for generating some of them for me to showcase on the channel. I highly recommend following him to keep up with the cutting edge AI updates. But anyways, one of the demos he showcased to me was probably one of the most impressive generations I've ever seen from any AI model. It came from the ECPT checkpoint and it was possibly the best generation I've ever seen for a functional browser-based OS. It looks absolutely amazing because it was able to replicate the Mac OS operating system. It generated the entire thing in a single shot inside one HTML file. All the apps work, the Apple animations are there, you can minimize tools, browser windows, everything. Literally, this is the closest we've ever seen an AI fully generate a creative, autonomous, full-on operating system. Using the ECPT model again, he was able to actually generate this Minecraft clone for me in a single shot, and the quality of output is just remarkable, guys. If you have ever played this game, you're going to be able to see that there's multiple types of terrains that you can basically walk through. You have the ability to place blocks. The time actually changed. There's actual functions that it was capable of generating in a single shot in one single HTML file, which is incredible. This developer on Twitter had actually worked on generating this cool game, which it was able to create in a single shot with a full on soundtrack. So if you actually take a look at it, you're going to be able to see that there is a soundtrack added to it. If I click M, you can hear the soundtrack in the background. But this, this is just insane because in a single shot, this Gemini 3.0 model was able to create this 2D game. So it has definitely done a lot better in terms of its performance with this checkpoint with the previous one. And you can see that it has improved in terms of its front-end capabilities as well as its creative code generation. This is a full functional game that it had actually generated with functional capabilities. You can see that I can build these different bats and it can actually damage me and you can actually upgrade your overall player. All of this was fully done in a single shot with this new ECPT checkpoint. This one feels like I'm starting up my own Windows computer. This is a full Windows web OS, and this was something that is truly mind blowing because it has a built in Python terminal that is going to allow you to play games, run actual code inside the OS itself. And this was fully generated in a single shot again, like the Mac OS browser OS. This is something that was fully generated with this new checkpoint. And we actually sent in the same prompt with the other checkpoint 
in the previous video. And this is a huge difference in comparison to that checkpoint in terms of its front end capabilities. It also did a better job with its creative writing in its generation, and it was able to focus on all the different aspects that we had mentioned. Looks like the Xbox SVG benchmark is completely saturated because this is a beautiful Xbox controller that it was fully generated in SVG code by the ECPT checkpoint. And it looks absolutely unreal because this is where it was prompted to create a highly detailed SVG of a black Xbox controller, which it did a great job in terms of fully detailing all the different controls a part of the controller. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Here's a prompt testing the model on the voxel bench, and in this case, the result is to focus on seeing how well the model is in terms of generating this interactive environment of a windmill with rotating blades in a cozy design. And this is the generation we have gotten from the Gemini model. But take a look at the quality that it was able to output in comparison to the GPT-5 Pro model. This is what we got from the GPT-5 Pro model. And I'm not saying it's horrible, but you can see that there is drastically a difference in terms of the output. You can see there's no animation with this one. But with the Gemini one, there is animation. It looks a lot cleaner and more subtle with the cozy design. Here we are with another demo, which is truly insane, showcasing a science and math learning visualization. A prompt that generated one of the best visualizations I've ever seen of a DNA unzipping. You have helicase moving, you have polymerase copying base pairs, and a full replication fork forming, all with smooth molecular animations and with color code bases. It even zooms from cell nucleus as well as chromosomes. And you can see the DNA strand at the end, just like magic school bus style. If this is the type of generations we're getting of websites, it is truly over for website builders because this is a new era of front ends that will be basically generating any sort of website for you. One that you can never believe was generated by AI. This was fully generated with the ECPT checkpoint. And this was done in a single shot with beautiful front ends, different styling. You have different sorts of animations in the background. And this is just truly remarkable to see. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically guys for today's video on this new Gemini 3.0 checkpoint. It is something that is truly remarkable and I highly recommend that you take a look at all the other videos I've posted on other demos with the other checkpoints. This is truly remarkable and it's something that is going to change the world in my opinion. And I've already showcased this as to how you can actually access the Gemini 3.0 EB testing. It is a way for you to easily access the different checkpoints and you can simply just head over to the AI studio. I have a thread that I'll leave in the description below, but simply just head over to AI studio, the Google AI studio, select the Gemini 2.5 Pro, and then you can just send in any sort of prompt that you want to test with the 3.0 model. And eventually you'll see two different model cards like this. And once you have gotten that, you have actually gotten a response back from the 3.0 checkpoint, but you're going to need to actually refresh over 50 times to actually get any sort of A-B testing. So keep that in mind. You're gonna to need to keep trying because there's a lot of people actually trying to access it right now. And there is a chance that you might not even get it. So you might be wasting your time, which is why you should just watch these demos to showcase what the new checkpoints are like. But that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Make sure you go ahead and join the newsletter. Join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you go ahead and turn on notification bells like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.